Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First look at the top stories. Goa government refuses to give definite time frame to notify regional plan 2021. GBS furious on CM's U-turn. State government threatens primary teachers if failed to join the consensus survey. Education director objects, asks to withdraw the order. Burden of public debt crosses 5,100 crores. Economic survey warns government says government borrowing beyond its retained capacity. Ram Navmi celebrated with immense faith and delight. Temples across the state witness huge crowds. And Department of Civil Supplies reduces public distribution quota. APL card holders get only 5 kgs rice and 2 kgs wheat. And now the news in detail. State government has declined to give a definite time frame for notifying Regional Plan 2021. On the 4th of March, Chief Minister Digambar Kamath had assured Goa Bachao Abhiyan of finalizing the Regional Plan within 6 months. Abhiyan is now furious on CM's U-turn. On 4th March, Goa Bachao Abhiyan had taken a big rally on TCP office and Chief Minister's residence demanding finalization of RP 2021. After a long wait at CM's residence, Digambar Kamath assured GBA of finalizing the plan within six months. Now, CM has taken a U-turn. In a written reply in the Assembly, Chief Minister Kamath has stated that no time frame can be established as of now for notification of Regional Plan 2021. Fatorda MLA Damunaik had asked the question seeking details of the present status of Regional Plan 2021. To this, the Chief Minister has replied saying, the subcommittees of the state level committee on regional plan for 2021 are working on finalization of the plan. Further, the government has replied that, as a lot of technical work is to be carried out and as a lot of correlation with plans submitted by panchayats is required, no time frame can be established as of now. Now, in front of so many people, he has said he is going to complete the plan in six months. Okay, and they said the, the officers who are working on it said it is possible. Now, how is the chief minister saying that uh, the time frame cannot be given? That means they have thought it out and they have every intention to delay the plan so that all these projects can come in. Look, one can understand that it is an elaborate process, it is a very long drawn process, it's a technically uh, very difficult process to make this regional plan. There is no doubt about that. But what I think the people of Goa are demanding is that there has to be some kind of sincerity, some kind of alacrity, some kind of speed at which the government works on this regional plan. That is not being seen. If a government is sincere, it can do its work immediately. How can a government say there is no time frame? We are meeting tomorrow, GB and village groups are meeting and we will decide the future course of action. The chief minister, who is also the town and country planning minister, needs to crack down and needs to show some degree of spine to see that this regional plan comes out at least during this term of this government. For all you know, it may never come out in the term of this government at the rate at which it is going. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. The state government has threatened the primary teachers with a, with a three-year imprisonment if they fail to join the census survey. However, the Director of Education has objected to this order claiming it would lead to the closure of single-teacher schools during census. It's a tussle between state authorities. The administration has issued orders through Mamladars and deputy collectors to appoint primary teachers for census survey. The order says teachers may note that refusing census duty is an offence which is punishable with imprisonment up to three years. It also warns that the concerned employee will be liable for disciplinary action under Representation of People's Act for not attending appointed duties. The Director of Education, Celsa Pinto, has objected to this order. She has written to the district collectors, deputy collectors and Mamla Das to cancel the order. She says implementing such an order would mean the closure of single-teacher government primary school. It will also disrupt the midday meal scheme. Common primary teachers should not miss instructional days. Under the right to education, it is compulsory to have two hundred two twenty days okay. for instructional days, okay. and and this is not 
permissible. Secondly, uh, it is a it is a primary education uh, cannot be of a good quality if the uh, primary teachers are enlisted for such work during in- instructional time. Mm-hmm. Thirdly, many of the uh, government primary teachers who are drafted for this census work, okay. they are from single teacher schools. Okay, okay. So that would mean the closure of schools, disruption of the midday meal scheme. Okay, okay. And fourthly, uh, many of the government primary teachers, they are they are being drafted for for a, a coastal survey then education survey on the directorate of planning and statistics, then BLO work under the elections, for elections, and lastly it has a fourth now that is come census work. This is too much for the primary teachers. In my opinion, primary teachers should be excluded from, and especially uh, teachers of single teacher school should be totally exempted from such work. I cannot talk about that. They have already done it through the areas directly without rooting to the directorate of education or rooting through a zonal office. They have done it. They are doing it for years. Even though we we, we bring it to our notice and tell them not to do it, still they are doing it. Our reporter in Panji Devidas Kamli and in Bosco Surendra Madkekar. The state government may be boasting of sound financial position, but the fact isn't so. The economic survey has warned that the government is increasing financial liabilities and burden beyond its capacity to repay. The public debt burden has crossed 5,100 crores, which is way beyond the sustaining capacity of the state. The economic survey reports the accumulated public debt on the state exchequer is 5,103 crores. The major loans are from the centre and market loans. It constitutes around 80% of total loans. The report has warned that the government is increasing the liabilities and borrowings beyond its capacity to pay the interest on existing loans. It also mentions that Goa is amongst the five states which have exceeded the limit of fiscal deficit beyond 3% of GSTP. Agriculturist Madhav Sakari affirmed that there was negative growth in agricultural sector. The fact is that there is सरकारक येचो डोक्याचे सूचना देतात की नवीन लोक कोण येणार आणि असं ते ऍग्रीकल्चर आपलं धंदा वाढवत सोडणार मागे नेचरली नेगेटिव ग्रोथ त्याची शिवाय दुसरी अपेक्षा मी कशी करत नाही वी ऑल्सो कॉन्टॅक्टेड नितीन कुंगलेंकर अँड अतुल नाईक अँड हियर इज व्हॉट दे हॅड टू से द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लेम फेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज टुडे इज नॉन अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ लँड सम ऑफ दिस पॉलिसी मॅटर्स इफ गव्हर्नमेंट कुड अनाउंस इन द बजेट दे वुड गो अ लॉंग वे इन गिविंग रिलीफ and a support to the industry who want to come to goa we f- we still feel we have a very good chance for future because uh, we have a very uh, strong socio economic indicators which can attract the good and sizable investments into the state secretary of goa mineral ore exporters association glen kalavampar said the royalty generated by mining should be utilized for infrastructure royalty that is being collected is um, almost 10 times what it was collected in the previous year and a lot of uh, mining roads in uh, the uh, in the state of goa require a lot of attention we would hope that uh, a substantial part of this royalties are utilized for uh, carrying out this activities prudent tried to contact leader of opposition manohar parikar for his remarks on the report Parikar said he did not get the copy of the report in the assembly he said he was surprised to read it from the media it would be interesting to see how chief minister tackles the situation in 2010 11 budget to be presented on thursday a reporter in madgaon samir bhat in ponda vivek prabhu and in panji jason suarez with video journalist sanina rikar time now for a short break stay tuned for more news